Hey guys, welcome back to some more OCR FSMQ lessons, back with Joe, and today we are talking about Soccer Tour. So, it's a bit of a revision lesson really, it's higher GCSE, but it's good to go over because it is uh, frequently on the OCR FSMQ papers, and as you can see by the learning objective, uh, it is to revise right-angled trigonometry. So, uh, SO is sine opposite hypotenuse, CA is cos adjacent hypotenuse and tour is tan opposite adjacent but let's just talk about uh, a right angle triangle so here's a generic <coughs> right angle triangle uh, with angle theta uh, welcome to the wonderful world of trig uh, trigonometry is the mathematics of a triangle its sides and its al angles uh, first we must name the sides of a triangle correctly the three sides have three names in relation to the angle inside so that angle there is, surprise, surprise, the opposite. Uh, that is the hypotenuse because it's the longer side. And the the side that joins the right angle and the, the angle is the adjacent. The angle dictates what the sides are called. So for example there, if theta was up here, uh, if we called that theta, then this would be the opposite here and this would be the adjacent. But, you know. I'm not going to insult your intelligence too much, you should already know that. But first we'll look at so, there we go, uh, angle x, uh, hypotenuse and opposite, uh, so sine x equals opposite over adjacent, uh, remember it by the triangle that, so uh, if, you, if you want to work out sin you cover up the sin and it would be opposite over hypotenuse, uh, if you want to work out hypotenuse you'd cover that up, it would be opposite over sin. Um, but it's really easy to uh, algebraically manipulate that uh, this little equation up here to be able to get what you want anyway. Uh, so same here. Let's just do a uh, example of this. Find y in the following triangle. So y is the opposite in this case. So we'd cover up that. So we'd scribble out that, and it would be the sine times the hypotenuse. There you go. So the op equals sin times hype. Op equals sin 53 times 24, so op equals 19.7 centimetres. Really straightforward, you should be okay with that. Next part, we'll look at ka. So here we go. Uh, we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Uh, cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, remember it by the triangle that. Really easy, same principle as before. Let's try and... Uh, an example here, so finding y in the following equation, uh, following triangle, sorry. So we're trying to find the adjacent, so we'd cover up a, uh, the adj equals cos times hype, uh, the adj equals cos 53 times 24, so the adj equals 14.4 centimetres. There's the triangle there, so in this case we would have been covering up the adjacent part, so it would be cos times the hypotenuse. And to her, I'm just going to put that up there, not in insult your intelligence uh, completely, but there we go. In this one we want to work out the opposite, so we'll cover up the opposite. So it'll be tan times the adjacent. So uh, the op equals tan times adj, uh, op equals tan 53 times 24, which is 31.8 uh, centimetres. So you pick the right one. If you want to pause and have a quick go, uh, do that now. And if you if you've just paused, got yourself some answers. Here they are. I'll put them up straight away, and they should be fine. There you go. And that is that. Honestly, soccer tour, dead straightforward. It's higher GCSE. Uh, you should be really fundamentally okay with it uh, if you got this far to OCR FSMQ. But it's good to go over. Uh, one shouldn't assume that you're okay with this, uh, but you know. Uh, it, it's it, it's a it's a manage, manageable topic I think. Uh, just make sure you calculate as in degrees and not radians uh, for this type of work because yeah you'll never be asked a question involving radians on an OCR FSMQ. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like or, and leave your feedback down below in the comments. And next lesson we'll be going over the cosine rule, the sine rule, and the area of a triangle. So. There's a lot of things to fit into that lesson, but the interesting stuff comes with trig identities, which will be coming in a couple of lessons' time. So hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days for the next video.